So we all know over the past few weeks I've done quite a few profile reviews. Well I've decided to switch it up and switch it up quite a bit. Today's video is going to be a profile review as such but a little bit different, you'll find out what I mean. Anyway, let's get into it. But before we do, if you do go on to enjoy the video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We're getting closer and closer to 13k, so every subscriber would help. Please subscribe. Also, you should leave a like on the video. It lets me know that you actually enjoy the videos and it also boosts the video in the algorithm. And finally, you should join the Discord server. It's a top link in the description. There's really no reason not to join. But anyway, let's get into the video. I hope you all do enjoy. So obviously, as you can see, we're not actually on Hypixel at the moment, and that's because we're not actually going to be using my account for this video. We're going to be doing a pretty much IRL, but not IRL, but actual profile review in-game of my sister's profile. This is going to be interesting because she has an interesting way of thinking, an interesting brain, and um, I guess this is just going to be a bit of a wild card. I guess usually the first thing I do in a profile review is look at the skills, but I've just spawned onto the island and um, there's there's some sort of there's some sort of castle going on, which I'm, I'm not sure about to be honest. It's clear there's been some time and effort put into it. It's a bit too pink for me personally. Not too bad, and we can just see here. There's been some attempt at a farm made. I wonder. <laughs> I mean, it's half finished. So let's take a look at the skills. Skill average of 23.5, which is not the worst. It's, it's, it could be better though. So we've got farming 26. Now I'm going to test my uh, Roman numeral skills because it doesn't just have a normal number. Mining 30, combat 31, foraging 18, fishing 16, enchanting 35, alchemy 17, carpentry 20, runecrafting 21, taming 25, and then... Let's take a look at dungeons. Catacombs 28, which is actually pretty good to be fair. And just looking at the inventory, let's see. So we've got this livid dagger, this one for all livid dagger. Um, what else have we got? An aspect to the end. Now apparently she did have a juju shortbow, but she sold it. And Derpy's still the mer, so I can't even see that on the AH. It's a bit of bit of an L. There's been a bit of an investment in turtle shell mitts here as well. Um, probably off my advice, which. Who knows whether it will actually turn out to be good or not. Anyway, if we take a look at Armoury, so we've got a Maxor set. And um, these Necron boots are actually mined. We act, at one point, we switched sets just to just to test out each other's sets. And she, she's nabbed my Necron boots, which is, is not too fair, to be honest. Not happy about it, but it's completely intentional on her side. Um, nevertheless, I will, I will reclaim them at some point. But yeah, I mean, I assume this would have been more geared towards a... A juju short bow, uh, but nevertheless, it's not looking too bad. I mean, the boots are very nice. Now we take a look at pets. So it's definitely the Griffin, level 100 Griffin, that's mainly used with the turtle shelmet. Not looking too bad. I highly doubt that this this Jerry's being used. Uh, and for that case, the end of an all the grandma wolf. But the Griffin's not too bad. So to be honest, I think the accessories is is possibly the worst part. I'm not gonna lie. So she's got 34 accessories um, just taking a look there's one epic and there isn't any other epics or legendaries so she needs to definitely invest a bit a bit of money in that okay I, I said the accessories may be the worst part but the fairy souls may be worse 93 out of 228 that's a poor showing 22 out of 79 in the hub that's disappointing to be honest in terms of actual coins um, we've got 15 coins in the purse 8 mil in the bank and like I said there is there's probably quite a few coins tied up in the AH as well, um, but we, we can't see that at the moment, unfortunately. Derpy, Derpy's still here. So apparently the vault is the best part of the profile, well, apparently. I mean, it's only I can only go off what I've been told. What is this monstrosity then? What is this? There can't be any complaints about having no coins, when there's clearly been some coins invested into this ALTJ. Not quite understanding the logic here. So I guess what we can do in this video, what we've not been able to do in any of the other videos, is actually do a bit of a bit of a damage test because I feel like that would only would only fit in really. So we've got the livid dagger, we've got the max or set with the necron boots, and we've got the griffin pet on, and we're just going to take a swing in and see what sort of damage we can do. So was that a hundred k? Ninety nine k, yeah. So about a hundred k, and then it'll be two hundred k in the back. Yeah, two hundred k in the back. There is a god part active, so obviously that will help. But, to be honest, I mean, 
That's, that's really not too bad. I don't really think I do even that much more damage. Now granted, she doesn't actually play the game that much and um, I guess it's not its not really too bad of a profile. There's a few things that I would change but then again, if you don't play the game too much then who really cares? I've just got to say, yeah, I'm still taking the moral victory on this one. My profile is better, as always. So to be honest, that's quite the L. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you all do enjoy. If you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.